it's cold outside. Sorry, I was just singing some holiday music. You guys need to check out a um, piece of software in a Linux app called Radio Tray, where you can stream different kinds of music, including holiday music, if you so choose to. But for today, we are going to take a look at the brand new Linux Mint 16 KDE named Petra. This is the RC, the release candidate, not quite the final. With Linux Mint, from my experience in the past, the release candidates appear to be quite polished for you to install alongside your Windows machine if you so choose to, or to completely erase it if you so choose to. So check out Linux Mint 16. I'm sure the final will be out very shortly. Well, this is the KDE version here. Here, This is the desktop uh, KDE here, default desktop. If you are a beginner, maybe you're looking for an alternative to Windows 7 or maybe even Windows 8 and want something more that's a little bit more resembling Windows 7 definitely take a look at this uh, if you are new to this I strongly recommend that you look at the documentation for this in fact let's go ahead and do that now let me go ahead and click the start button here as I collect the call it will go to the Firefox web browser this this will take you to the Linux Smith the website and it looks like F XFCE release candidate is out, but let's go to the KDE version here. Some quick notes here. Again, if you are new to Linux or new to this, very important you take a look at this. This will give you some features, uh, recommendations in terms of system requirements. With this, you will need at least one gigabyte of RAM. I recommend at least two so you can do your multitasking and all that good stuff. And some other stuff here. Make sure you download the correct 32-bit or 64-bit, especially if you have more than 4 gigabytes of RAM. For myself, let's see, KDE version 4.11, that's the newest one. Let's take a look at, yeah, for myself, I would want to take a look at performance improvements. Let's see what we have. Okay, so among the improvements here, it says the update manager is now started with a delay to make it faster for the session to load okay the software manager features significant speed improvements okay that's good and let's see the min 16 ISO are not as compressed they are bigger uh, they take more space and bigger to download but also easier on the system and faster to decompress during the live session well I'm always for faster speedier and better alright well let's take a look here and see what we have this is the default desktop here you have a shortcut here at the top at the top desktop at panel widgets activities folder settings and of course leave another shortcut here at the bottom let's go ahead and cancel that I don't want to leave yet bottom right you can add widgets KDE is famous for widgets as you see here I think these are called plasmoids let me just get and drag this here and we will just have ourselves a simple clock exit out of that and of course you can resize this accordingly and move it I'll keep it there in the middle you can also move this panel bar at the bottom you can change the height the screen edge as you can see top or the bottom and the height and <laughs> you know what let me just leave it here yes my contacts are a little fuzzy no they're fine again this is highly customizable you can make this as big as or small as you want why not just keep it like this for now okay the volume mixer available devices okay and my network there of course your time and date you right click on this the panel you can also customize it by right clicking the file manager Dolphin file manager and again you can change the view on this as you would in a Windows environment very easy to navigate to through as you see here simple buttons here minimize maximize exit out of this I right, show the desktop and the start button here now this you can make it look like this or right click and switch to classic menu style again if you are coming from Windows very easy Now I've talked about this before if, if, if you prefer just more of a, a list menu here KDE, 
KDE has many pieces of software installed. Of course, you can download more. I won't go through every one of these. Uh, it did say in the, we looked at the Linux Smith blog that this should run a little bit faster. The, the software manager, let's take a look here. Now again, I'm running this in a virtual machine, so virtual machines by their nature are not going to run as zippy as you would as in a full installation. That's normal, but with virtual machines, they're great because you can safely test something, and if something breaks, you broke it virtually and not your real machine as it were. Alright, well this is the software manager here. This is where you would go to find and download pieces of software. Now once again, this actually ran a little bit slow, but in a virtual machine that is to be expected. It is user friendly. Uh, you can browse th through this by categories such as sound and video and this will give you options to download multimedia type of packages uh, radio tray is right here if you don't have this I definitely recommend you download radio tray a nice radio streaming player alright let's take a look here quickly and see what we have graphics GIMP image editor very good internet Firefox by default I recommend chromium also multimedia and let's see, VLC should be the standard media player for both Linux and Windows. Office, of course, you're going to see a lot of case here for software, being that this is KDE. The settings, system settings, similar to the control panel for Windows. Again, by category, appearance, workspace, network activity, hardware, printers, power management, multimedia. This is running quite smoothly in a virtual machine, by the way. And let's see, your system, we looked at the Dolphin File Manager. Let's see if anything else sticks at here. Um, the Welcome Screen, Introduction to Linux Mint. You may want to take a look at that if you are completely new to this. This will help you get, f uh, help you get familiarized with Linux Mint KDE, including some helpful forums. All right, let me just go ahead and right click it. Back to the application launcher style. We'll just take a look at one thing here. Let's see, I'm looking for music. And there you go. This will give you everything that is related to music. If you are using Windows 7 with the launcher and the search bar, this should be familiar to you. All right, well, I've taken a look at KDE type of operating systems before, so I won't go into any more of this. You've seen this before, at least some of you have. If you are completely new, don't like what you see maybe in Windows 8, want something that looks more like Windows 7 but want to try something different but user-friendly, I would say definitely check out Linux Mint, the KDE version, Linux Mint 16 Petra. I will have links below in the show notes. And don't forget to shop with me at totalostoday-shop.blogspot.com. That's it for this. Happy holidays, and as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.